an hour, the love tour, love tarpo sign. It's a beautiful sign. Look at that. Lovely stuff. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. We have now arrived in Lake Tarpo in the North Island of New Zealand. This is only my second YouTube video in the North Island. Lake Tarpo looks absolutely beautiful. So much to get through today, so stay tuned to see the whole of Lake Tarpo in one day. First stop. You can see the blueness already. Oh, this looks so good. Little walk around here. It's thick, isn't it? Next up, just down the road from Hooker Falls Lookout, coming down this way, we come to see Hooker Falls. This, this looks absolutely amazing close up. Cannot wait to see this in person. So we're now on Hooker Bridge. Look how busy it is. Full of people. The M view. Beautiful. Look at that. Everyone stopped here for a photo. Let's try and get to the other side. There we go. See it gushing. That's amazing. So that was Hooker Bridge, just here. Really, really busy. I think we just pulled up as a big bus tour come in. So that's why it was so busy, I think, because it's quieting down now. But you can walk along all this track and go even further and see the falls at the end. Have a look up here. told me a little fact hooker is the Maori word for foam because it's all foamy when the water's obviously hitting the water in the like lakey bit it goes all foamy next up we have come to a place called craters of the moon this is a paid one though it's ten dollars per person but it looks absolutely sick inside there it's literally just two minutes away from hooker falls literally just over the road so I've just been told it's a 45 minute loop just to go around the craters. There's an extra 15 minutes if you want to go to a good viewpoint of the craters. And then there's another five minute walk you can do to get up and close to the most active steam crater. So yeah. So first up you come to a little lookout and there's just loads of craters in the distance steaming. Cool get down there and balloons of smoke clearly coming out the craters just in the distance there and there's one just up there there's actually a viewpoint right next to it where we'll be going that's really cool you can smell that that's crazy look at that it's like a meteor struck going on inside the crater, mainly on, on the edge. Oh, it's coming actually. That's weird. 
these ones look like they're smoking a bit more. Look at that. Has a really, really weird, funny smell. This one's really pushing out some steam. Look at that. That's the best one I think so far. And then you'll just get little bits of steam all just coming out of uh, the grass here. Really cool. And this one just here, see the little crater there? Ah, oh, it's got a really funny smell. Look at that. Coming out of a little hole there. This is a big crater here. Look at that. You can actually hear something bubbling up. It's like a swamp down there. Breaking mud. You can literally hear it. See it. Look at that, it's firing out there. So this is the most active vent. See him back in there, there look. Just a little walk up here where Ellie is. Just run up here. Be out of breath at the top. Yeah, that's a good one. That's the best one. Steamy, see water coming out of it. Cool. We are just now exploring the lake front of Lake Tarpo. It's a cool little structure there, look. Oh, yeah. Reeds carving. And then we've got the crossing just here, which I'm going to go to now. You look at this bit, you think the lake is big. This is just like a little spit off the lake, like a little oval shape. And then the, uh, the actual lake is right over there. Obviously, this is part of the lake, it's just a bit off it. Massive. And then we've got the crossing. Very, very cool. Here we are, walking on the crossing. There's Ellie, look. You're coming up. You're coming up. Ellie doesn't want to come up. She's not interested. I think that's cool. You've got to walk over it. She want to walk over it. You've got every takeaway along the front. You've got Subway, you've got KFC, you've got Burger King over there, you've got McDonald's over there, loads of coffee places, Indian restaurant, petrol station. It's rammed. It's a lovely walkway though, right along the front. And then I've seen this place. This is called the Hole in One. So you can go from the edge of the lake have a little, I don't know how many balls you get, you get a couple of balls. If you get it in there, you win 10 grand apparently. So I think I'm gonna have a go. Some nice architecture here. Really nice. One of you with a bird on top. Lovely. So here we go, the hole in one. Where is it? So here we go, the hole in one thing is here. I'm gonna have a go. Do it from here. There you go, there. The wind is coming this way, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't even play golf. I don't know how hard to hit it, what angle to hit it, but I'm gonna go for it. Even though we're running low on cash, this has gotta be done. We 
we can win 10 grand. 1,324 people have won it. I'm gonna go 15 balls. I'm definitely not gonna win it, but we'll try. Right handed club, but somewhere else for. This gold fern's looking nice. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Go I on, used it from anywhere, aren't I? <laughs> you took that little jelly bit. <laughs> it's called the tea, isn't it? That's the tea, jelly tea. I've never played golf in my life, it's going to be horrendous. <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> Go on then. So I am failing miserably. Ellie's having a go. I'll probably just hit like 10 or something and it's terrible. Go then. So Ellie, first, Ellie's first one's gone there. You can have two more. Hit it harder, swing it. That went about 10 meters. Go on. Hard as you can. Go on, babe. She's won it. Didn't win the 10k. We had some fun. I think I blasted about 10 in. None of them went anywhere near where it was supposed to go. Ellie did about three shots and probably got it like 10 meters, so no good. Here we go. I've made it to the world's coolest McDonald's. Look at that. It is an aeroplane. The wing goes over this car park. It's got engines still by the looks of it. It's been painted beautifully. Let's go get some food and eat inside that aeroplane. That is unbelievable. First, let's take a look around the aeroplane. Look at that. You can touch the wheel. It even spins. Look at that. Under the wing. Can we touch the wing? Yes, we can. Look, you can see everyone, everyone in there eating. It's cool. Does the little wheel spin? Yes, it does. There it is, the world's coolest McDonald's as chosen from 34,000 restaurants. Tarpo, New Zealand. Look at that. You can even touch. Oh my God, it, I thought it, it spins. It spins, guys. Oh, wow. That is crazy. And just so you all know, it's a Douglas DC-3 plane. How cool is that? Let's get inside. So you've got your plane there, wingspan over the restaurant, and you've got your normal restaurant here, where you can buy your food, walk up these steps, and eat in the plane. Here we go, we're going in. The restaurant is normal. Let's see what they've got on the New Zealand menu. So when you're in here, there's a play park you can walk through. You've got steps to the plane. 
and it's open 9 until 4.30. Let's get up. We're about to board the aircraft. Let's see if there's a seat in here. Got a bin here. Got a plane door. Does this open and close? Yes, it does, but it's on a uh, on a lock. It's cool. The exit door don't work. Let's read about it in here. Look at the views. Here she is, my air hostess, bringing my uh, in flight meal. <laughs> I think I'll sit at the back early. I paid for these seats. So, let's get stuck into the Boss Burger. It's a big one. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. Look at that. I've got two patties mm. cheese, tomato, lettuce, onion, tomato sauce, and mayo, I think. That's very good. Still tackling the burger. That boss burger is mega. I'm giving the boss burger a 9 out of 10. The patties could be seasoned a bit better or something. Still really, really nice. Let's go for fries. At least we've got the ketchup, so off a normal fries. Not a bad fry, pretty cold though. It went through like different times, like if it's a bit funny. Uh, then we are so there was a. I'm gonna use some of uh, Ellie's sweet and sour sauce. Love the sweet and sour sauce here at McDonald's. Yeah, and there was another one called Span. It was a rubbish portion, I've had about four fries, and look, give it a shake. It's nearly empty. I'm not happy with that. Yeah, here we are. It's like a plane seat. It's got the back bro. Ellie's there. The best drink from McDonald's, yeah, from New Zealand and Australia, these frozen cokes, so good. And luckily, Ellie's not hungry, so she's letting me have one of her nuggets. Pretty cold, but you can't beat a Mackey's nugget. There it is, the chocolate dip. It's just an ice cream cone dipped in chocolate. That is good. Let's get back in the plane and eat it. So there you have it, the world's coolest McDonald's. Definitely lived up to expectations, I thought it was absolutely sick. And there we have it, that was the world's coolest McDonald's. Ever since I knew I was coming to New Zealand, I'm not lying, this was the first thing I actually had saved to come and view. That sounds so bad, doesn't it? Because there's far better things to see in New Zealand than a plane that you can eat McDonald's in, but that was so cool. Has anybody else visited this place? So glad I visited it. What a great dining experience. So cool. Goodbye, DC3. So apparently in Tarpo, this is called the hot water beach. Is that going to be hot? I have no idea. It looks cold to me. Let's go have a feel, see if it is actually hot. So you've got lots of ducks around here, some big swans over there. 
duck there burying its head, eating summer. It doesn't look very clean. Let's touch it. Not very warm. Oh, it's warm actually. It is warm. I can confirm that the water is very warm. Very nice. It'd be nice on a nice hot summer's day. And it's just a beautiful view of the whole lake in the background, the mountains and the hills. What an amazing place to spend a day. So lovely.